his name um, sitting Anthony's been working with him and getting him to sit all day I've I mean he's still he's still sitting of course he's eating yeah. he's so big <laughs> he's doing very well guys. oh yeah he's doing very well um, he's kind of mellowed out with the cats I say that as the cats are all in the cage weaning well, but they're waiting. They're waiting for food. That's what they're waiting for. They want, their, they want their breakfast. They want their can, but <laughs> their bowl. Yeah, please. No, they're, he's doing okay. He still he chases them, but that's his. That's his nature. The type of dog he is. He's going. He's going to chase him. You know, but. I will say he is getting better about him. Like yesterday, we had him out, um, and we were hanging out. <laughs> The cats, you guys know, they love to follow us around. Um, so we were in the front yard working on some stuff out there. And all the cats were out there and they were hanging out like on the deck and stuff out there and he was with us. And he was going over there and sniffing them and stuff, but they didn't seem to be too concerned. Now, Sylvia, it, you know, she, she came and was playing with his tail. And... Yeah, she was playing with him and stuff and he was sniffing her, you know. I think part of the reason why they get a little freaked out by him is because he is so big. And when he barks, I think that really freaks them out. I mean, even Jaina will howl when he's barking. His howl? Yeah, when he's howling and barking, like, Jaina no, starts no. crying. No. Like, she starts howling. That's not yours. Like, literally howling. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's a Jaina howl. That's all right. She's got the under bite, so... <laughs> <laughs> Very quiet uh, howls, but. Well, I think everybody, uh, dang, Ghost, he finished fast. Maura's still pigging out. Well, I gotta go get, um, I'm gonna fill this thing up for Jane and Lillian. Hmm. Yeah. We talked about it. Yeah. Since we, we, we Jaina refuses to eat outside. She's gotten to that age, I guess, or her temperament. Yeah. Like, I'll put a bowl of food down, she'll look at it, maybe take a bite, and then she'll walk off because you you will be in here, in the house. Yeah. So she has to eat wherever Roxanne's at. This is never been like that before. And this is before Bruce got here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been going on for months. But we feed them separate, Lillian and Jaina, but then they just eat each other's food anyway. So I figure for the inside dogs, we'll just fill this automatic feeder up. Which well, we haven't really used. Yeah. I mean, as you see. And it's it's funny too because Lillian's got a bowl and Jaina's got a bowl and we'll feed them in the house. Well, Lillian won't eat hers until Jaina's done. And then when Jaina's done eating, because Jaina doesn't eat all of her food, sometimes she does. I guess it just kind of depends on how hungry she is. But she eats all of her food and then Lillian goes over there and protects her bowl for the rest of the day. That's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They eat each other's anyway. Yeah. And then, really? then Jaina will eat Lillian's food, you know. Lillian just grazes all day. That's what she does. She That's why this will be good for her. Yeah, for she doesn't morning. really, yeah, she doesn't pig out first thing in the morning like okay. these dogs do. 
Um, she just kind of grazes throughout the day. She's hungry, though. I'm sure she's hungry. Yeah, she's ready for her breakfast. I gotta go get it for her. Yeah. We have a different type of dog food. It's real small. Yeah. Pellets, but... I guess, or whatever. But it's meant for, uh, like, all dogs. But it's yeah. easier for Lillian to eat because it's smaller than that stuff. Yeah, because right now she takes the big food and she, like breaks it down into smaller pieces and then yeah. she eats it i mean we, she, we she's even a tiny tried, dog we even tried getting lillian her own food before yeah and she didn't like it no she wanted to eat what everybody else was eating yeah so. she ended up eating all the other dog food so. yeah so we stopped <laughs> getting her her own you know tiny breed food she hated it <laughs> yeah even though it was the same thing it was just smaller she didn't like it because it was different yeah so she likes um this other food that we've been getting yeah, it's expensive though. Yeah, but you get more. I'll say that. Man, dude. Um, we're kind of, I guess, getting a little bit better about the food situation because we have a 55 gallon drum. Um, so we went to the store the other day. Normally we buy like one dog food bag at a time. Um, and it's either 40 pounds or 50 pounds. Well, we decided, you know what? We're going through a lot of dog food pretty quickly. And it's like every couple weeks or so, we're going to the store to get more dog food. Um, so we decided to fill up that 55-gallon bucket. Yeah. Our drum, I should say. I know say. that's what Melanie and Gary do yeah. right, for their dog food. And after feeding them for a week, I was like, man, this is nice. Yeah. You just, you know, upfront the cost. Of yeah. Because it's expensive to get, you know, five bags, you know, 200 pounds of food. Yeah. At a time. But then you're not stressing out and you have food for months. Yeah, and you don't have to make that special trip to town just because you got to get dog food. And that's happened to us a couple times. Yeah, we, we have to go today. Cause yeah, no more you're food, like, so. we're, we're out of food. I gave them the last little bit. So somebody's got to go to town today to get more. <laughs> Here, watch him. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm just going to go fill up um, this thing for Lillian and Jana. Yeah, yeah. Where's Midnight? Did he? Oh, he must still be in the house. He's still loafing underneath the bed. Or on the pillow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this morning we woke up and it was actually freezing this morning. Um, there was ice on my car. I was not expecting that. I went out there this morning to go to the bus stop to take Wyatt and my fro my windows were frozen. <laughs> so <laughs> it was a little chilly this morning. It's it's still a little chilly um, right now um, but it's not as bad like yesterday it was so chilly all day long I could not get warm because not only was it chilly the wind was blowing so every time the wind would blow I'd be like oh so I complained a lot yesterday about how cold I was <laughs> I just always complain it seems like about the weather but that's okay I know that's gonna change here really soon and then I'll be complaining that I'm too hot geez Maura is still eating she's she normally eats pretty fast, like everybody else, but I guess she's decided she's slowing her down. Hi, ghost! Poor Lillian. She's waiting. Look, right away, she ran right over to the food bowl just to sniff it out and see if any, if there's any leftovers. We're getting them food, so they'll take. That'll be good. <clears throat> But yeah, we did get some stuff done yesterday, um, which you guys will see today. Because um, we didn't get anything done on Monday because of the rain and stuff. So we're kind of like, I guess like not really behind schedule, but like our days are off. If you guys notice, like I said, today's Tuesday. It's actually Wednesday. Because <laughs> Monday kind of really screwed me up. Uh, being rainy and stuff all day, we didn't get a chance to get outside and do anything that day. It just rained all day. I can see that my grass is, you probably can't tell on camera, but it's looking a little wilted, a little frozen. <laughs> um, another exciting thing too that I noticed over the last couple days is my gladiolas are starting to pop up out of the ground, which is really cool. Um, I'm kind of curious to see because this will be their third year. Yeah, third year I've had them. Hey! No playing. Jaina's trying to play. Um, I'm curious to see if there's going to be like multiple ones instead of like, I think last year I had one or two that uh, bloomed and there was two flowers on there. So I'm curious to see what this year is. Like if I'll have ones that have more. Because eventually I'd like this whole little area right here and on the other side. It'd be really cool to have that just all like gladiola, like bulb flowers. Because right now I have a... Um, 
I think it's gladiolas, and I want to say irises, I think is what uh, Jeff from Bobblehead gave us. Well, he gave us a bunch of different flowers, but I think I planted um, the irises right here. I'm not sure though. I'll have to see when they, when they sprout what kind of flowers they are. See this dog food smaller? Yeah. That's why Lillian likes it. He's ready, look at him. Oh, her and Jana are both ready. They don't have breakfast. Come on, Jana. No, no. <clears throat> Jana, come on. Jana, <laughs> Lillian. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm excited about the flowers popping up and it's funny too because I shouldn't say it's funny but I have um, some more gladiola bulbs that I got. Um, I think I got them last year. I think a subscriber sent them to me. Some gladiolas. Or maybe... I don't remember where they came from. I'm pretty sure it was a subscriber. But I was just telling Anthony, I'm like, man, I, I really want to go plant those over kind of by like where the flag's at, by the entry. Like our little fence thing that we made. So maybe I'll do that today or here in the next few weeks. I don't know if it's too late Ooh, to plant uh, gladiolas. Like I said, mine are already sprouting. Where are you gonna plant those, you said? Oh, it's talking about over there by the flagpole. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's too late now. Cause like I said, mine are already sprouting. I got a couple of them that have popped up. I mean, what's, what's gonna hurt? They ain't gonna die. No, they won't die. They just might not bloom um, this year. It's they... barely spring. You can probably <laughs> still plant them. They're probably fine still. I know, and it could be cause this weather's been just so weird is why they sprouted right now. Well, it was really, really warm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The weather's yeah, been then, really now weird. Yeah, and it got cold again. It's like... Yeah. I mean, I'm shivering right now. Woo! <laughs> it's all about plants right now. That's all I care about. Is what plants can I plant and uh, what plants should I plant? <laughs> I know. <laughs> plants, plants, plants. <laughs> animals, animals. Yeah, animals and plants. That's all we well, care about. Well, yesterday, too, we... Um, yeah, the 26th, yep. We... I think we successfully bred Jessica. Oh, yes. That's right. We shall see. Yeah. Only time can tell when it comes to that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we'll just have to see. Yeah. We'll yeah. just have to see. So, we also tried last Friday. Well, Friday. Yeah, two Fridays ago. Yeah. Not last Friday, the Friday before. Yeah. And so, but I don't think that was successful. But I think yesterday was pretty successful. Yeah, I so. wouldn't. I wasn't there that that Friday we did it. I mean, I was there yesterday. Um, I would think at least yesterday for sure was pretty yeah, yeah, yeah. successful. Um, but like you said, we'll wait and see what happens. Um, get some more baby bunnies going around here. Yep. I'm curious to see because we made it the first time. It was Snowball and Roger, obviously, and they have babies. And there's some black bunnies in there. So I'm curious with Jessica because she's all white. And Roger, what their babies are going to look like. Oh, ghost. I think, I think a lot of them would be white or maybe some brown or gray ones. I could see, I could see, yeah, like kind of like I could see some snowballs. Well, even, uh, yeah, maybe yeah, the black and whites. Yeah. Um, but even with snowball, look, there's all white ones. I know. I'm just saying like no, I, I, so I can see uh, for sure there's, there's going to be, but it'd be cool to have an, uh, some more black ones that are yeah. born. I say that. And well, Tim said he never, he's never even had an all black one. Yeah, which is weird. So he's all like, oh man, that's nice to know those jeans are in there. Yeah. You know, for all black ones. Yeah, yeah. So because those little black ones are cute. They're all cute. Yeah, but. and then um, I don't know. Did we, was that yesterday? Oh yeah, we talked about uh, males and females, and one of the black ones is a female, mm -hmm. and Melanie's taking it. So I'm curious when she breeds her, breeds that one, because that's what she wants it for. Um, how many of those babies will have that are blacks, black babies? They'll be grays, browns, blacks. They'll yeah. be darker colors. Wouldn't that be because, crazy if yeah. they, she breeds that one with the one that has like, not all white, the other one, and it comes out with like a brown baby? Be kind of cool. That'd be cool. Yeah, like Roger. That looks like Roger. <clears throat> that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. Only time will tell. It's like learning about genes and, uh... Have a green rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that. You know, it's kind of like yeah. uh, chickens, too. Oh, I know. Chickens, it's weird because you can't even tell what they're going to be. No. Like when they're chicks. Uh -uh. Even when they're grown up, you don't know who they came from. <laughs> no. <laughs> you would have to, like, 
narrow it we, down to like one rooster and one female and then you know what i mean yeah we, well with with ours you know for sure yeah um <laughs> real quick side note <laughs> speaking of chickens we do have some that are going broody oh. um we are not letting them um because <laughs> it was chaotic last year we don't want to go through that hey, again we've hey, learned our lesson but I feel so bad every time I got to go in there and take those eggs. And it's Miss Gray. It's Miss Gray and Bertha. And then there's like a couple other ones. There's like four or five hens that have been sitting in all the hen, uh, nesting boxes. And yesterday, one of the ladies, she was very, very, very upset. Because there was no room in any of the nesting boxes because everybody was sitting on eggs. So I had to go in there. I booted everybody out. And then she was happy again. She went in there and laid an egg. I know. She was yelling at all of them. Get out. Yeah. <laughs> Get out, please. Yeah. So a couple broodies. We like, you know, we're obviously going out here every day and taking the eggs away from her. So yesterday we got like 24 eggs. Yes. We're getting so many eggs. So it's many ridiculous. eggs. I, and every time they lay and I'm, you know, I don't mean this like that, but I'm like, no, no more eggs. No, we got enough. I got enough right now. Give me like a day or two so I can kind of. You know, the dogs are happy. They're getting eggs every day. Yeah, yeah, we've been giving giving them an egg now. But I'll go get one later. Yeah, we've been giving them like one or two eggs a day. Yeah, um, they've been they've been getting eggs. So and we've been eating a lot of eggs for breakfast, sometimes dinner. Well, hey, that's I mean, what a horrible thing to have, right? So much food. I know that's what I'm saying. Like I hate to say it like this, but. <laughs> Please stop laying eggs. <laughs> I know, you're all, give me a break. For yeah, a I just need like one or two days just so I can kind of catch up and feel good instead of I catch up and then that evening we go and get the eggs and I have three dozen more than I need to take care of. Yeah. <laughs> it just never ends. It's okay. It's a good problem to have. So I'm not really complaining. Hey. I mean, I guess I kind of am, but. Here. All right. What's he doing? Oh. Yep, he is. Come on. Come on. <laughs> hey. Hey. But I'm going to head into town today. Got some things I need to go get. Anthony's got some stuff he's got to do on a computer. Yeah, we got computer work. And he does, I don't. Normal stuff to do today. More yeah. training with this guy. Yeah. And later uh, on. Right? Hopefully uh, it warms up today. It should, it's supposed to be warmer up today. Yeah, and I don't feel the breeze like yesterday, so. No. We're already better than yesterday. That's right. <laughs> Stay safe, guys. Stay motivated. Yes, stay safe and motivated, everybody. He's motivated to get one of these cats, at least not get them. So don't take it that way. Yeah. He's just smelling them. Yeah, yeah, he's curious. That's all. Have a great day, guys. I guess we'll catch you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.